Aloha. One of the things that I do as a recreation therapist is I help people who struggle with chronic pain or who are dealing with any kind of physical pain or ailment in their body. Uh, one of the ways I do that is by facilitating a book club. Right now we are doing this book, The Body Keeps the Score by Dr. Bessel van der Kolk. And uh, this book is really, really good. I have it audio, I have it PDF, I have it physical hard copy. Um, read this book a while ago, but coming back around to it this time to help the group of people that I'm currently doing the book club with. And this book specifically is about essentially how your body is keeping score of all the kind of things that happened to you since you were born all the way up until now. Um, and things that are like big traumas or little traumas um, that essentially happen to your body or to your mind, right? And your maybe mind blocks it out for a while or it, it, it holds on to that, to that trauma and later on in life it starts to come out or it starts to manifest in different ways, whether that's fibromyalgia, whether that's eczema, whether that's irritable bowel syndrome or um, any kind of thing that pains you, that brings you pain um, or an ailment, physical ailment, um, it's your body's way of essentially keeping the score of something that happened to you in the past whether you remember it or not. And so this book does a really good job of underlining like the science that goes on behind all of this, how the chemistry in your brain changes when you go through a traumatic event, how your pituitary gland fires off in ways that it does, you know? So this book goes really, really deep and um, it's very science heavy in the ways that your body and your mind and your brain correlate to one another. and. Um, I think this is very crucial when it comes to people who struggle or who deal with chronic pain, who are in pain all the time. Um, because when you know how something works or when you know why something is happening, uh, it's an easier, uh, you have an easier approach to the problem instead of going in blind or just feeling hopeless about something. And this is not like a, uh, one thing, one explanation fits all the reasons, right? And or anything like that. But it does a good job, like I said, to kind of give you the synopsis, how your brain, how your mind and your body are all connected. And so if you read this book and you put your own examples to the things that it's saying, it gives you a little bit of insight into your own body and your own mind and, and brain function and how maybe you can try to do something a little bit differently or approach your situation a little bit differently in order to find some type of relief from this pain. And um, I'm not saying that everybody that has eczema or irritable bowel syndrome has trauma. That's not what this book is saying. It's saying that those are just some ways that the body keeps score of things that have occurred in the past. And so um, that's the, the quickest synopsis I could probably give you from my perspective that I've come to find from this book. Um, there's so, so, so much more. There's so much information and great um, insightful um, golden nuggets that I've gotten from this book. But I just kind of wanted to give a brief overview of one of the ways that I help my my people uh, find some relief from pain and that's giving them knowledge and this book right here is full of this knowledge so um, if you know anybody that's struggling with chronic pain PTSD or is just like me loves to learn and loves to help people um, this is a major major book that I recommend